What was Earth like 100 million years ago? We may not have the exact answer, but sometimes Earth leaves us some clues. And Scarlett Liz Jack explains how the newest addition at a New Mexico museum is bringing history to life. The world is much bigger than you realize. It's a snapshot from the past. A nest of eggs um, from a oviraptor. Uh, it was um, about 165 million years ago. These eggs never got the chance to hatch, but they did survive the test of time. We got really lucky. They're intact. Um, Finding a nest like this is very rare, uh, mostly because they would break them apart or uh, wouldn't be a complete uh, uh, specimen. 100 million years of luck has earned these eggs a second lease on life. We found this nest of eggs and, and uh, it looked like a great opportunity to, to show uh, the people uh, in Farmington that uh, uh, something that they probably would have never seen otherwise. Now they are proudly displayed in the Sherman Dugan Museum of Geology in Farmington and sitting among a collection of history it sheds light on a new perspective of the past. At first I think they uh, they thought that specimen was um, that type of raptor was one that hunted out eggs and would steal them but I think later um, other finds discovered that they were uh, protectors and, and they um, watch their young. And it's the young that Dugan hopes these ancient eggs will inspire. If a kid comes in and, and sees these eggs or sees these fossils and is inspired to follow science or um, a career in, in paleontology or geology, uh, then it's worth every ounce of effort that it took to acquire these. Dugan says this nest of eggs was legally sourced from China before the 1996 ban, a country rich in prehistoric fossils. Now everyone can view these eggs for free at the museum. Scarlett Jack, KOB4.